is about to begin. And you're gonna love it. What's up, YouTube? This is Latrox Topher here, bringing you week nine of the Seattle Seahawks franchise. Uh, here are your NFC West standings. The 49ers and Rams at 4-3 and three are a game ahead of the Seahawks and Cardinals at 3-4 and four as we shift over to the NFC East. The Cowboys, our opponent this week, are on top by a game over the Eagles and the Giants. Injuries, we get Babano back next week, and Lynch is out. Everyone curious to see who Pete Carroll brings in to replace the prolific uh, Marshawn Lynch in the offense. Here we are, Arlington, Texas, Dallas, Texas, wherever the fuck you want to pretend it is. Jerry Jones world, tough place to play. Uh, Witten out, that's going to help us because Miles Austin's going to be a, the only guy we'll have to key on in that passing game. So we thought Reggie Bush, as you can see right there, is the replacement for Marshawn Lynch. The defense will hold him to a 3 and out on Dallas's first possession. I'm showing the punt because the punt returner is that guy. It's his first snap as a Seahawk, Reggie Bush. Can he make magic happen? No. But just wanted to show you guys a glimpse of Reggie Bush in his first snaps. First time touching the ball as a Seattle Seahawk. But here comes Tim Tebow. The guy who's going to get a lot of the pressure put on him now is the Seattle Seahawks are going to be forced to throw the ball more than they've been used to in the first eight weeks. Not starting off good as Tebow will throw a pick on their first possession. Roma looking to capitalize on the youngin's mistake. He almost makes a mistake of his own, but Aaron Curry rocks or hands of rock it bounces right off. Romo sacked Felix Jones will pick up his fumble, luckily, but Seattle will get the ball. Tebow trying to make up for his mistake earlier in the game as he'll hit Sidney Rice, who's been quiet this year, trying to make some noise now that the Seahawks are going to pass more. Komar getting the pass here, fumbling it. Dallas will recover. Pete Carroll will challenge it. It won't be overturned. The play will stand. Dallas ball. Felix Jones caught gets caught up in his own feet there. I don't know quite what happened, but he falls down. But it won't matter as they'll punch it in here with Marion Barber on these old school rosters of mine that aren't up to date. 7-0 Dallas and the sack on Tebow will give Dallas another shot at putting more adding to their lead, putting more points on the board. But they can't convert there. Seattle trying to do something with it now here on their third and eight attempt. The nice touch pack patch. Nice touch. Pass to Zach Miller puts the Seahawks in business. Another pass to Miller. Tebow's starting to play like we need him to play if we're going to have a chance in this game. Reggie Bush, a big pickup there. Good acquisition. He's trying to prove that he was the right sign for Pete Carroll on this team. Bell gets stuffed there on the 30 inches, forcing the field goal, which will put Seattle on the board, which isn't too bad. It's a four point game. Seahawks will take it, especially after this. <laughs> Backwards pass will bounce off Felix Jones's helmets. Lawyer Malloy will come up with the fumble recovery. Seattle is in great position here to put some points on the board and possibly take the lead. Tebow making the plays we need Tebow to make if we're going to have success the rest of the season until we get Lynch back. Tebow handing off the bush. He won't get touched by a single cowboy as he'll trance in for his first touchdown as a Seahawk. Hello, the NFL. Reggie Bush making noise for Seattle. And then, of course, Lawyer Malloy, back-to-back -back uh, Dallas Cowboys series will come up with a turnover, one fumble recovery, one interception, giving the ball back. Reggie Bush picking up the first down on the pass there, leading to this field goal by Lindo Mare right down the middle. And it's a six-point game now, people. Seattle is f slowly taking control of this game. The hand off the bush on will pick up the first down here on the first series of the second half. And the toss out to four set will keep the series alive. They're looking for their fourth third down conversion. Tebow going to look for Zach Miller, who might get it, but no 51 will make sure he does not get to the first down line. They'll get stopped on the first possession of the second half, but it will force a field goal, putting Seattle up that much more. 16-7, Seattle at Dallas, Roy Williams pick up the first down here, trying to get some momentum for the Cowboys. Romo, he'll look, shoestring catch by Miles Austin. Dallas is slowly getting the ball down the field here. Slow methodical drive, a couple big plays when they need it. Next thing they know, they're in the red zone looking to make something happen. Bennett, catch, 
He's at about the 12-yard line. Romo, first and 10. He'll find Roy Williams, who will make it in for the end zone, or in the end zone for a touchdown. Now it's a one-possession game, two-point lead for Seattle. The ball goes right to True Fonts. Romo looking for Austin. Don't know how we didn't see True Font, but that's another turnover for Dallas. Turnovers proving key for the Seahawks' opportunities. They keep getting great field position. Bush with the spectacular catch, but right when he turns around, meets Terrence Newman, who just nails him. And Reggie Bush will be feeling that one for a while. It'll lead to a field goal. Seattle got a... Five-point lead here. Field goals good enough to win it for them as we're in the fourth. Or a field goal won't win it for Dallas now as we're in the fourth quarter. Seattle trying to hold on to their slim lead, but the linebacker I don't know loses Roy Williams somehow. He gets open, makes a nice catch. He is just killing us right now in the passing game. Des Bryant absorbing the contact there. Dallas moving the ball well, looking to take the lead here late. Williams, another big catch. He's to about the five-yard line. They'll mark it to seven. Romo, first and goal. Almost throws a pick to Kelly Jennings. Second and goal. Almost throws a pick to Aaron Curry. Second drop for Curry. Now, third and goal. Curry will make up for it. He'll come around and sack Romo, forcing the field goal, making sure the Seattle Seahawks maintain their lead with under eight minutes to play in the fourth quarter. Seahawks trying to put Dallas away here. They'll find Zach Miller, but Zach Miller will get hurt. Turns out good. It's only a stinger. He'll return shortly, but while he's not in, Tebow all covered, sacked. Third and 25, Zach Miller back in the game. He'll be looking to him. No, he won't. He'll throw it up to Sidney Rice, but it'll be intercepted by Terrence Newman. Luckily, though, my boy Zach Miller will come up and make the tackle, saving some yards, putting Dallas in a little bit more difficult of a situation where the sack will force them out of field goal range. Ball back to Seattle. Justin Forsett breaks a tackle. He has space. The 20, the 15, the 10, the 5, the touchdown with the spin. Big play by Justin Forsett, showing that Seattle's running game is still dangerous without the star Marshawn Lynch carrying the ball. Fourth and 5. Dallas trying to do something with it. They'll get stuffed here, but Hawthorne will get hurt, which is unfortunate on a late game situation. He's out for six weeks with a dislocated hip. Not good. Seahawks don't need injuries right now as they're starting to get their season rolling. Forsett will punch it in for one more score. They'll go for two to make it a 17-point game. The fade to Rice is good. Seattle will win by 17, 34 to 17. In Arlington, that will put Seattle at 500 this season, 4-4. Four and four. Should put them in good standings in the NFC East as they battled back from 0-4 to 4-4. Four and four. Uh, Your player of the game is going to be Justin Forsett, even though I believe with all the field goals made, it should have been Olendo Mare. Pete Carroll making the decision to bring in Reggie Bush. Played all right. We're going to need him to get some jitters out and play for us better. But Tebow putting the team on his back. All right, not the best game, but we'll expect more from him soon. Uh, hopefully, because we're going to need it. Because Marshawn Lynch won't be back unless we make the playoffs. But next week, we got Baltimore. Um, uh, the franchise will be being brought to you in HD uh, when week 14 comes around. Make sure you like and comment this video. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links to my Facebook and Twitter are in the description. Please do that. It's really helpful. As long also subscribe to my channel. That's really helpful as well. But most importantly, keep gaming.